Yo! So you might be thinking to yourself, why do I sit here for hours on hours, going through hours of stream VODs and recordings and whatnot, trying to find little 30 second clips that I want to put into a stream highlights video? Well, dudes, I have the solution for you today. I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest and easiest way to make your highlight videos or just make the process of editing your videos that you record much easier and much faster. So let's get right into it, boys. All right, guys, so first things first, uh, you're going to want to go to this link that I'm going to provide you in the description below. It's going to be the first link in the first link in the description, right? Um, it's a thing called uh, Info Writer version 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, it's a plugin for OBS, basically. Uh, just come over here. You're going to click download. And when you click download, uh, just put it in a folder. It's going to download a zip folder. I just saved it to my desktop. And once you save it to your desktop, extract the files, um, open up the folder, right? Then you want to open up a new file explorer and come over here to where your OBS is, your OBS studio folder. Mine is in uh, my X drive, not program files 86. It's not there. Uh, yours might be there. Mine is in uh, program files and it's right here in OBS studio. And then after you get there, you're going to click OBS plugins. Click OBS plugins, you're gonna click 32 bit. Open this, you're gonna see a 32 bit and a 64 bit folder. Open up your 32 bit folder first, drag this in there and just copy it there. Once you do that, it's gonna put it there. Come back to this, go up a, up a step, come to 64 bits, same thing here, go to plugins, go to 64 bit, and drag your 64 bit plugin right in there. And it's gonna put it in there and save it, and you're good to go. That's all you gotta do. Now you're going to want to open up OBS and I'm sorry guys, you're going to see a little bit of like uh, inception for a minute. Um, basically, you're going to want to click on add a new source, right? You're going to add a new source. You're going to see info writer down here. You're going to add info writer. You're going to hit OK and I already had it in there. But basically your log file is going to be a text file that it's going to basically log all of your timestamp. So what this program does is going to make, you're going to set up a hotkey and you're going to make timestamps every time you push that hotkey. So if a crazy moment happens in the game, I have mine set to number zero. I just press number zero and it automatically sets a marker on that timestamp so I can go back and easily find it. Um, so what I did is I came to my desktop. I just right clicked and made a new text document. Just name, I just named the text document stream timestamps. So you can just name it whatever you want. Timestamps is easiest. You open up, it's going to be blank right now, right? Well, you come in here and you set up your info writer source. You're going to browse, find the text file you just made. So go back to your desktop or wherever you may have saved your text file. For my case, mine is right here on timestamps, right? You'd select that, but our, I'm already using this one right now. So I'm not going to set that one up. But you, you select that, it's going to change your log file right there, your format, just keep that blank. So after you do that, you hit OK, you're done. Now, you want to come into settings, go down to your hotkeys, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you should see something down here called Info Writer. This is where you're going to set up your hotkey, just whatever key you want, put it right in there. I use number zero because I never use, you want to use something you never use in a game or anything, because if you use in a game, you're going to constantly be pushing it, you know? So set up whatever number you want. I did number zero. So set that up, hit OK. And now all you do is hit whatever hotkey you just set. So I hit number zero. And I'm going to come into my text document here. And you're going to see it says I started recording it this time. And at five minutes and 15 seconds, I just pressed number zero, which I, it was 10 seconds ago when I pushed it. All it does is just make these timestamps for you. And it even tells you every time you change your scene and everything. I mean, it's, it's literally like, you can't get much better than this, dude. It literally just marks everything for you every time you push the key. Because I don't know if you guys were the same way, but dude, I'd sit here for literally out, like hours just scrubbing through trying to find these clips that I wanted. And now you can do it in seconds. Just go look at this. It's so like my, my stream I did last night. This is all the highlights that I had from it. So now all I got to do is go to each one of these timestamps and I'm, I'm done in literally minutes. So that's awesome. When you're done, it automatically saves everything. So just X out. And you're good to go. And when this starts to get backed up, like say you run this for a week and you get all your highlight clips you want, all you gotta do is just delete it, just backspace, and it'll start it'll start over, just start writing fresh. So that's been the video guys. I hope that helps you. Uh, it's just a quick little short tutorial to help out any of you content creators or streamers that might be in need of some uh, 
help when it comes to making highlight videos because I know a lot of people don't do it because it can take a long time. But if you use this method, I'm telling you, you can do it in literally seconds, or not seconds, but you know what I mean. You can do it super quick, right? So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, dudes. We're coming up on 1,000 subs really soon, so I'd really appreciate if you guys enjoyed the content. You hit that sub button. Check out my stream schedule in the description. Check out my Discord link. Uh, we're always lit in Discord, yo. So, y'all have a good one. Peace out, guys.